Children have just closed from school here at the Jamra Methodist Basic School. All seems serene here today, but a year ago, the entire school and the community was thrown in a state of mourning when the kindergarten classroom block collapsed on the pupils while classes was in session. Six girls died as a result, leaving others with varied degrees of injury. The classroom had developed cracks over a long period, but authorities of the school failed to give it any attention until disaster struck. A year on, a new classroom block has been constructed through the benevolence of a non-governmental organization. When I look back, I just realized what happened to some of our children, so it made me very sad when I'm teaching. But just as at now, I'm feeling good because of the environment, the room, the chair, the board and everything. I think we are proceeding. Government, however, has done little to give the Jamra Methodist Basic School a facelift after promising to do so. The construction of a classroom block which started years ago and is meant to ease congestion in the school has stalled. There is no indication when it will be completed. From the school, I went to meet Abdullah Yao, father of five-year-old Hibatu, who died during the school disaster. In a somber mood, he takes me to the grounds where the six girls were buried. This is the final resting place of the six girls who perished uh, when the Jamra classroom block collapsed on them a year ago. It is as bare as it is. No signpost to indicate that this is where they were buried. And when you are driving past, you would not know unless somebody brings you here. Pacho. I or by a or by sharing or my ten million or quaba or maybe or my hands of flaying also my ten million. If you want a bump and if we be a my and maybe be a my DC, you want you be a my cafe and say, I fear do a sanka. I am paying for a Mushiana KD and Colano. I have finished and in the Dean will be a my cafe and chain. Abdul Karim is another bereaved parent. His four-year-old daughter, Saidat, was among the six girls who died during the disaster. As he shows me pictures of her, he is extremely saddened by his loss. The pain still lingers. He says the state has not treated him well, but he finds it difficult to make demands because it will be seen as though he wants to rake in from his misfortune. to me, not yeah, it's a bit to me, I can be so yes, no court. But all the same, no, yeah, I can say, you know, maybe why to me, because we be a yamiasm, nothing so. I just say, oh, yes, I would be, I can say, oh, oh, Tom, but I just can't say, be bizarre. Spokesperson of parents of the deceased girls, Abdullah Kwame, wants the state to fulfill promises made to the bereaved families. According to him, Thousand cities is not worth a compensation for their loss. Let me see a thousand gun and a barn, the Yantashi, oh, yeah, quaba, we be a quaba, a quaba, and one. As he said, there's his parents in Ubia, I are hope because a woman said, Thousand gun and all, he is can answer. He had to be to me, Chichar, or Funu Rama, it to me a quay. While parents of the deceased girls wallow in misery, no one has been held responsible for allowing the school children to study in a dilapidated classroom which eventually tumbled down on them. The treatment meted out to the bereaved parents by the state has left them with little faith in a country they call their own and they now feel like second-class citizens. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, GH1 News.